Afterburner 1 and Afterburner 2 are two arcade games released by Sega in 1987. They're kind of sort of the same game, so I'll start off with the first one. You take control of an airplane and you shoot stuff down. That's it. As you can tell by my brief description of the game, there isn't much to it. You have guns and a limited amount of missiles. You're supposed to lock onto enemies and hit them. But good luck with that. This game is hard. Really, really, really hard. The control in this game is not that bad, and once in a while you can actually hit things, especially if you're really good, but it takes some time to get used to the controls and the gameplay. Speaking of the gameplay, this game is really awesome. It's fun shooting things, it's fun going fast, it's fun doing 360s, it's just really, really fast paced and exciting. The graphics are also really nice. It's vibrant and colorful and very fast, and there's scaling. Seen in other games released at the time like Super Hang On, Outrun, and Space Harrier. This game is very fun, fast paced, exciting, frustrating at points, but rewarding. And now the second one. Afterburner 2 is pretty much the exact same game, but improved in some places. You're still an airplane, shooting stuff down, and it's still fun and exciting. The controls are improved, it's a lot easier, and the stages of music are a lot better. This game is a lot better than the first one. Seeing it for the first time, you might get confused, thinking that this game is the exact same one as the first one. But it's not. It's a lot better, and I like it a lot more. Sega's own Yu Suzuki designed both these games. And just like his other games, they're very well done. Many of his games and other Sega games were innovative, boundary-pushing titles that were unlike anything that anybody had ever seen back then. And that is really cool. Well, see you next video. Let's take it home. Afterburner, only on the Sega system. Sega, the challenge will always be there.